Well, hello everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. And today we have our first matchup in our Elite Eight as uh, Sideshow Gambler brings his Rona system up against the square pair and their baseball system. So uh, the uh, Sideshow Gambler won his first round match over uh, the 6-8 ladder by Wayland's Way Craps. And the square pair, their baseball system, uh, outlasted craps down under uh, and his one, three, two, four, don't pass system. Uh, both of these systems did very well in the first round. Uh, the Rona system uh, started with 1,000, ended up with $1,358. And the uh, baseball system started with 1,000, ended up with 1,253. So Rona versus baseball. And let's see who's the first one to get to our final four in our YouTube Crap Strategy Tournament. We started with 16 systems, 16 strategies, and we'll finish with one winner. So let's go down, take a look at the brackets real quick, and then we'll head to the felt. See you there. Okay, a quick look at the brackets to see who uh, who's left. We have uh, in the top left, our today's match is Rona versus Baseball. And then the bottom left, we have the Power Press Iron Cross versus the Step Down System. On the right-hand uh, side of the bracket, uh, Wayland's Way, Alabama Hammer versus Wager Me This, my go-to strategy. And finally, in the bottom right-hand corner, the Triple Lux Power Press will go up against Doc Holliday. But today, it's the Rona versus baseball. So let's get on down to the felt and see who the first uh, has the first strategy, first system. It makes the final four of the YouTube Crap Strategy Tournament. See you there. Let's go. Okay, down on the felt here for the first of our Elite Eight matchups. Today, to see who goes to the final four, the first system to go to the final four, we have the Rona system presented by Sideshow Gambler going up against Baseball, presented by the Square Pair. So let's take a quick look at how these systems work, and then we will get started. Okay, the Rona system by Sideshow Gambler. We'll start with that one first. He begins with two units on the five, six, eight, and nine. And uh, this is a $25 table, so it'll be two units of 25. And of course, we'll cap the six and the eight. All right, if he rolls and hits the five or the nine, then he power presses the six or the eight. So let's say he hits the five, that'd be a $70 payout. And so he would take 60 of that and power press the six and rack 10. Um, if he hits the six, that would also be a $70 payout. So then we would um, power press the five and bring that up to four units. And it's the same thing on the eight and the nine. If the eight hits and you press the uh, power press the nine, and if the nine hits, you power press the eight. Now, if you get a power press, uh, say we had power press the the five there, and we hit it, and then we take down everything back down to to one unit, which we started out with two units. We take it down to one unit, and then repeat. And that way, you can lock in your profit uh, pretty quickly. So that's basically how the uh, the Rona works by the Sideshow Gambler. And now let's look at baseball by the square pair. And this one's a little more involved. Uh, they start off with uh, one unit, 25 on the 4 and the 10. Put that out. And then uh, 120 inside. So there's 100. And actually it'll be 110 inside. Well, five, one, ten, and they put eight dollars on the horn. Let me get some ones here. Eight on the horn. Okay, and that's that's how it begins. Now, if they roll and he hits one of the numbers, one of the box numbers, he'll take part of that winning and put $5 on each of the hard ways, okay? If the field hits, if the field hits, um, he'll take the winnings there and he'll 
press up to 32 on the horn and 30 on the field. Now if the field hits, he'll take that down. And the rest of it, uh, we just roll it out until Big Red shows up. So that is how the baseball system works by the square pair. So we're going to start off with a $1,000 bankroll for, uh, for both systems. And that's $400 in the blacks, $100 chips. We've got $500 in the green, $25 chips, and then $100 in the redbirds. So this is going to be the Rona system. This will be the, the baseball system by the square pair. So we're going to need some ones for the square pair because of the uh, horn bet. So let's get those changed out before we get started. Now how we do this, we um, roll out 10 rolls of the dice, and then we'll pay off both systems, and then we'll roll 10 more and pay them off, and then finally 10 more and pay them off for the third time. And that'll be 30 rolls, and then whoever has the, uh, the biggest bankroll, the most money at the end of 30 rolls, will be declared the winner. And move on to our final four, be our first unit, be our first system that makes it to the final four. So uh, here we go, the first of our Elite Eight matchups in our YouTube Crap Strategy Tournament. And so let's go ahead and roll out 10 here and see what we got. First roll. All right, that's a 3-2. That's the no field 5. There's the hard 10. And we'll line these up down here and pay them off in a few minutes. There's a first horn number. AC Ducey, and there's our first seven out. So Big Red shows up. There's an easy 10. And there's the no field 5, 4 1. There's an easy 4. And there's an easy 8. And two more rolls. And five and two, and we're all through there. Seven out. And finally, an easy six. Okay, so let's do the Rona system first. That's two units on the inside numbers. So one, two, three, four, and cap those sixes and eights. And everything that will be working on the come out, 30 rolls. We don't want to waste any of them. All right. So here's the first roll, it's got a 3, 2, 5, so that'll be our number, and that'll be our first payout at $70. And so we'll power press up the, uh, the 6, because we hit the 5. Okay, then our next roll is the hard 10, we don't have anything on the 10, we don't have anything on the... Uh, a horn number, so nothing there. And then we hit that first seven. So all this goes down. And that's a shame. Need to hit those uh, power press numbers to make this system work, and we were unable to do that this time. So this number comes down, and we come back up two units on the inside numbers. Top off the 6 and the 8. All right. Next number is a 10. Easy 10. So that'll be our number. And we throw another 5. So that's a $70 hit for us. And we'll take uh, 60 of that. And press up this 6. We hit a 4, which is nothing. And we hit an 8. So that's a $60 payout. I mean a $70 payout. And we'll take 50 of that and press up that 9. And then we have another 7 out. So the Rona system off to a rough start. All right. So once again, let's get some change. Of those and let's 
come up with the inside numbers once again. That comes down. And our first roll is the six, which is working. So $70 payout. And we'll press up that five. Okay. I'm going to put this over here as a six, so we'll remember next time where we were, what the number was. So I'm going to push all this to the back out of the way for the Rona system as he's completed his first round. Take the button off, and then we'll go to the square pairs baseball system. All right, that starts off with uh, one unit on the four and the ten, $25, and then 110 inside, so basically... Uh, 160 across. And then we've got the $8 horn bet. And that is it. All right. So the first number rolled is the 325. So everything is working. So that's a 32 or a $35 payoff. We do lose the field or the uh, horn bet. So 35 goes in the rack, and we're going to put five on the uh, all the hard ways numbers. Let me move these out of the way. So five on each of those. All right, the next roll is a hard 10, so that pays off right away. So we get uh, 50 on the... Place bet, pay the VIG on that, and then 35 on the hard ways. So nice hit. So we'll rack all of that. Okay, then we get a AC Ducey, so nothing there. And then finally the seven out. So all this goes to the casino. Pick that up. Numbers come down, and we'll go with our 160 across, and first rolls, uh, well we got to put our horn bet out, $8, so the first roll is a uh, 10. Easy 10, so 10 is our number, and pay that off, pay the VIG, and then we will take um, 5 for the hard ways, we do lose the horn bet, and next number is a 5, so that's a $35 payout. We have an easy four, so that's a nice payout there. Pay the big, and the hard four comes down. So let's replace that, and we get an easy eight. So that's a thirty-five dollar payout. And the hard eight comes down. Place that, and then we have the five two seven. So that's a that's a loser. Okay, bring that down, and then we do the one sixty across. Put some more change here. And we do our eight dollar horn bet. Okay. And the number was six. Or the number 
Next roll is 6516, so the number will be 6, and that's a $35 payoff. So we'll rack that and put down the hard ways bets. We do lose the horn number, horn bet. And that's going to end round one. So I'm going to leave that one in the middle so I'll remember that the hard ways are going for the baseball system. Move those to the back, and we'll move um, the Rona bets up front. So the Rona bets are what's working right now. And the number was six. So the six is working. What else do we need? Two units on the. Okay, we got that going. And I think we are ready. So let's roll 10 more and see what we have after two rounds. All right, we start off with an easy five, or with a, a no field five. All fives are easy. There's another five. There's our first seven. And we need to get on an extended roll here for the Rona system. To be successful, there's a center field nine, so that'll help. Another five comes up, so that's half the rolls are fives. There's midnight. And that's the five, two, seven out. And there's center field nine. Another seven out, wow. Pretty ugly. Pretty ugly rolling. There's another seven out. So, all right. First roll was a five. So, that pays 140. So, we'll do 150 for 10. Now, when the power press hits, we reduce everything to one unit. So we can lock in that profit quicker. Okay. So we'll rack all this up. And remember this belongs to baseball. We just have that out there to remind us of the hard ways bets. So there's the five. So we're back down to one unit now. So we roll another five. So that's a $35 payout. And so we'll rack five and press up the six. And then we hit the seven out. So by reducing down with the first power press hit, um, Rona was able to save a little money there. And penny saved is a penny earned, correct? So the six comes down. And then we come back up. And that's two units on the inside numbers. Got that going. All right, our first roll is the center field nine, so that'll be our number, and that's a $70 payout. So we'll rack 10 of that and put the rest on the eight, press that up. Then our next roll is the no field five, so that's another $70 payout. We'll do the same thing there, except this time with the six. So rack 10 and press up the six. Then the next roll is midnight, and then we have seven out. So power press is unsuccessful there, and it gets hit again pretty hard. So we'll rack that up. And let's get some change. hundred and let's come back up those inside numbers two units all right so that came down
down, and our first roll is a nine once again. So, seventy dollar payout. Rack ten. The rest of it goes through the eight. And once again, we hit the seven. So. Can't get anything going on this table, poor shooter. Okay, so let's get some more change. Another 200. And do it again. Okay. So the first roll out is another seven. So that goes away. Again, everything is working on the come out roll, which has been a, which is a shame in this instance, but that's just the way it is. Okay, so let's bring the baseball forward. And the number was six, and we did have the hard ways working. So we'll do all of that. All right, first roll is a five, so that's a $35 payout. The no field five, take the field, pay the five. We'll rack that, and we hit another five, so that's another $35. So we will rack that up, and then we hit that seven. So let's, this goes away. Call that up. Number comes down. And let's see, we got there's 160 across. Had eight on the horn. All right. First roll is a nine, so that'll be our number. $35 payout. We'll pay that out and rack some of it and go with the hard ways on some of it. And we lose our horn bet once again. All right. And the next number is a five. That's a $35 hit. We have midnight, so that's nothing. And then we have that seven out once again. So we lose this. Too many sevens. Too many sevens. Okay. Repopulate the board here. See if we can do a little better. Okay. First roll out of the gate is a center field nine. We'll pay that off. Rack that. Do our hard ways bets. And the next roll is another seven. So both systems are struggling. And anytime you have a shooter throwing sevens consistently, none of them work unless you're on the dark side. And even then, if you're on the don't pass and you have a come out seven, you lose there. So. Difficult, difficult. All right, let's do it one more time. And we're going to need some change. So let's do two greens and ten reds. All right, let's top those. Of course, the first roll is another seven. So that goes away, and we have completed two rounds as we see who goes to the final four. 
and as you can tell by looking at the racks, uh, baseball is in the lead, but both of these uh, uh, strategies are struggling mightily. All right, we've got a $25 minimum bet table. and see how much we have left here for the Rona system. We have $75, so that's, uh, that's three, three bets. So let's go the five. I'm going to turn these into green ones just to make it a little easier. Let's go the five. The nine. And let's see, we don't have enough to bet the six or the eight. So we've been hitting a lot of five, so let's let's just go with the five. Okay, the last roll, last round was a seven out. So we'll start from scratch here and hope that Rona can hit something here and get it going. All right, there's the easy 10. There's an easy eight. Easy four. Card 10. It's hitting some numbers, just none of them are the ones we need. And there's the seven out. And that will be the end of the Rona. The Rona will bust out there. And we're going to hit and roll these out to see how baseball ends up. It's a hard four, easy eight. Easy six. No field five. And the final roll is the easy ten. Okay, so this is the Rona system. We've got two units on the five, one on the nine. Uh, we roll the 10, the 8, the 4, the hard 10, and then that 7 hits, and all of Rona's chips are gone. So let's bring these back down, and then we'll do the baseball one, and see how much that the square pair in their baseball strategy ends up with. So let's get some uh, green ones to, to start. You know, this isn't a bad reflection on the systems. It's just that I don't know how many sevens we had, but boy, it, it was ugly. There's a lot of sevens thrown in this uh, this particular matchup. Okay, so we've got everything working out there. We put our horn bet down, and the first roll out of the gate is a uh, easy ten. So we'll pay that off. Do the big, and we lose the horn bet. And next roll is the eight, so I'll pay thirty-five. We'll go hard ways, rack some of it. Go hard ways on all the numbers, and we got an easy four, so that's a nice payout. Do the big, and the hard four comes down, so we will replace that. And next roll is the hard ten, so that's a double hit. Double hit there. We got got the uh, field bet. We'll pay off the vig on that. We got 35 on the hard ways hit. So nice hit there for the baseball system. So we rack all that up. And then the very next roll is that seven. Okay. So that comes down. Come up with a 160 across once again. A horn bit once again. And the first roll is the hard four. So the horn bit goes away. And we'll 
play off the field bit four. Play big on that. Let's see, we need some change and we'll hit those hard ways again. So next roll is an easy eight. That's a $35 hit. And we'll use the hard way bet. So we'll replace that, rack that. And we got an easy six, another $35 hit. The hard six goes away. So we'll replace that, rack the rest. And we got a center field nine, $35 payout. And we'll just rack all of that. And then the final one is the easy 10. So we'll pay that off. Play the big. And that'll end it. We'll lose the hard 10. And we'll put the rest of this back in the rack and see how much Square Pairs baseball strategy finished with. And obviously, since the Rona uh, strategy busted out because of all the sevens that I threw, uh, the baseball system by the square pair will move on to the final four, be our first final four participant. And let's just see how much uh, the square pair ended with. That's 200. There's three, four, five, fifty, five, seventy-five. 595 $599 for the square pair. So, the baseball strategy by the square pair moves on to the final four, defeating the Rona system by the Sideshow Gambler. Uh, Rona system had a nice showing in the first round, but once again, just too many sevens uh, for uh, uh, the system to with withstand uh, when you press up a lot. Um, if you don't hit that press number, you know, this can happen. So, uh, but if the numbers are hitting, you can uh, win a lot of money quickly. So it's volatile, but um, if that's the way you like to play, that's a good system for you. So we do thank you for joining us and hope you'll be back for our second match of, of our Elite Eight. Um, uh, congratulations to the square pair and their baseball strategy as it'll move on to our final four in our March Madness YouTube Crap Strategy Tournament where we have 16 strategies but only one winner. This is Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University, and we do thank you for joining us and hope you'll join us again for the next match and see who the next system, other system goes on to our final four. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.